So welcome back to the course learn blockchain. In the previous video, we learned about blockchain in a very high level. In this video, we will learn about hash cryptography. Especially we will understand about SA256 hash algorithm. Okay, let's look at the example. Suppose we have a person. This person can be anyone. Me, you, we have a fingerprint. Different people will have different fingerprint. So if we look many different people, we will get different fingerprints. There is a probability that different people can have same fingerprint, but it is very unlikely. The probability is 1 in 60 million. So in a way you can say that fingerprint is an identifier to a person, which is a very powerful concept by the way that is used by forensic department in the police where they can identify the criminals just by their fingerprint and use it as a proof or an evidence. So what if we apply the same principle to the digital document? If we do so, we can identify any digital document through their fingerprints, yeah? Now here comes the hash. We understood hash is the fingerprint of the digital document in the previous video. We have many hashing algorithms, among them one of the most secure and widely used hash algorithm is SA256 hash algorithm. It is used as hashing algorithm in Bitcoin blockchain. The quarter algorithm for SA256 is completely open. Anybody can learn it and understand how it works. I will suggest you a chapter of a book at the end of the video if you want to learn detail about working of SA256. SA256 is a part of SA2 family of algorithm, where SA stands for Secure Hash Algorithm, and it takes 256 bits of memory. The hash is always 64 characters long, and it consists of hexadecimal characters, that is 0 to 9 and A B C D E F. So total there are 16 characters. Each character takes 4 bits, so in total 64 characters will take 256 bits. Now note that the length of hash is always fixed, no matter what the size of data or document. SA256 is always 64 characters long and takes 256 bits of memory. And another thing, SA256 works not only for digital documents like Word or PDF, it works for anything that is digital, like a text file, audio, video, executable file, and even operating system. Now let's have a look in action and see how it works. For that, we are using this website called andersbrownwork.com. Here you can see two fields, data and hash file. In the data field, you can input text and the corresponding hash is generated. The hash is generated different for different inputs. And similarly, the hash is same for the same input. The hash for data roman is always the same, like the fingerprints of a person will always be the same. Another interesting thing about hashing is, even if you change just a single character, the hash will be completely different. This is called avalanche effect, where small change in input results in infinite change in output. Small change in input doesn't have small change in output. And here you can see, no matter the size of data, the length of hash is always the same. This is a cool website to demonstrate blockchain. You can visit here and try on your own. Now coming back, we have 5 requirements for hash algorithm. First one is, it should be one way. It basically means that you cannot go backward. You cannot go from hash to the data. You cannot restore or re-engineer data based on hash. The second requirement is it has to be deterministic, meaning that if you take the same document, the hash should be the same. We have looked this in the demo. The third requirement is it must be fast computation. The fourth requirement is avalanche effect. This is one of the main requirements of hash algorithm. We have also looked this in the demo. How small change in input results in great change in hash. And finally, the fifth requirement is it must withstand collision. So what does this mean? We learned that there is probability that different people can have same fingerprint. That is 1 in 60 million. Similarly for hashing, different data can have same hash. We have only 256 bits, but our data is infinite. So it is obvious there can be collision. But it is very rare. Here to withstand collision means to withstand the artificial collision. If someone finds a way of collision, that is to make different document having the same hash, then there is a problem. That person can tamper the block without changing the hash of that block. This is a serious issue, so the hashing algorithm must withstand this collision. 
So these are the five requirements for secure and safe hash algorithm. One way deterministic fast computation, avalanche effect, and withstand collision. I hope you have understood them. These are the fundamentals you should know about the blockchain. Now as I have mentioned earlier, here is a chapter of a book. The secure hash algorithm family, chapter 1 of cryptography in context. Check the link in the description. And on this note, I will see you in the next video.